Today I'm going to talk about access control policy configuration in Seng4 IM version 11. The access control policy includes application control, email filter functions, web filter, and also SSL management. It can also block users' access to web streaming media and social website such as Facebook, YouTube, and so on. This is an example of network topology deployed in route mode. The local area network in this topology refers to user A, B, and C. IM is deployed between switch and router. Its role is to authenticate and authorize user access to website in the internet. Besides, it is also responsible to block all relevant websites declared in access control of IM. The IM will filter user access rights according to credential either stored in IM as local user, domain user, security group or user attribute before allowing requests made by user to be passed onto router for routing purposes. In other words, traffic is blocked as soon as an unauthorized request is made. There are 5 simple steps for access control configuration of blocking Facebook and Baidu. The very first step, we access to Facebook and Baidu to check the connection first. After that, we access to IM Web UI to customize an URL group and also configure access control policy. Lastly, we access to Facebook and Baidu again to see the result. Now let us start the access control configuration. So first, we access to Facebook to verify that we can log into the page. Now we can see we are successfully logged into Facebook page. Next, we try on Baidu page. And we also successfully log into Baidu page too. So now we log into the IM web console. Under the navigation tab, select object, then URL database. Now click add button, fill in the URL group name. Next. The URL can be filled in in three different formats. Then click Commit. Now go back to the Navigation tab. Click the Access Control. Policies. And add new Access Control. Now fill in the text field by giving a name to the access control. After that, click on application and click add and click on the small icon which is beside the text field. In the search field, fill in Baidu and press enter. Now it will show all the application of Baidu. Then we look for website browsing and tick on it because we just want to block the Baidu website but not other applications. Next, we search for Facebook and block all the application of Facebook. After that, click OK and click OK again. Now click on the object tab, then click on local user. This local user interface is to show all the available user in the IM local database and now I will choose Keith as my choice. Next, if your organization owns an external server, either a LDAP server or radius server, you might consider to use the existing list of user in domain user, security group or domain attribute without adding individuals one by one. Next, under security group, you can choose particular group of several group at once and add access control to the selected groups. Another alternative is to add domain attribute. 
in domain attribute, you can add a do add a new domain attribute by giving a name and select DNS server. Then enter a matching attribute which you have declared in your external server. Value can be a specific value or any value if not specified in the external server. In this case, I will enter department as my attribute and file as my value. Next, you can also set access control based on specific VLAN that has already been configured in the organization's network. Besides that, you can also set access control to endpoint devices such as smartphone that is connected to organization's network. You can also set access control on specific destination that could be an external email server by filling in the email server's IP address. In addition, IM will only take one object from this group. Local user has the highest priority. For example, user has configured a targeted user in local user and set a targeted IP as source IP. Initially, device will check at local user and if there is an existing user. Policy will be applied to targeted user. If the user is not found in local user but found at source IP, the policy will be carried out based on source IP. In this group of objects, is work based on priority. Besides that, this group objects must be configured together in order to get it work. For an example, when user configure a targeted IP range and endpoint device set to PC, user must meet both of these requirements in order for the policy to work. This is the example topology to show how the policy work. As you can see, the location has been set to IP range 192.168.1.30 until 192.168.1.38 and endpoint device is set to PC. In this example, PC having the IP is 192.168.1.35 and mobile device having the IP 192.168.1.30. When the policy take effect, PC will be affected but mobile device will not be affected because the targeted endpoint device is set to PC only. After the access control has been set up, click on the commit button. Now open a new tab and search for Facebook. And we can see that user cannot access to Facebook because of the access control policy. Besides, by two website will be blocked as it had been applied into the access control policy too. So from here, we can see that the access control configuration is successful. And that's all for my tutorial. Thank you.